Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where we are about to see the Moje Wasteland for the very first time. Let's go! Doc Mitchell has patched us up nicely, so let's get out there. Ooh. You've got a fragmented signal on your pit boy. Oh god. Oh yeah, these are all the uh, DLC stuffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quite finished? Any more for any more? Let's have a look at the pit boy. So we are. Uh, no, we're on the radio there. We don't want the radio. We want quests. <sighs> So ignoring these three ones up here, we got back in the saddle and they went that away. So let's start with uh, back in the saddle. Because he's sunny smiles. Oh, hang on. There's a. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Should have added the DLC one at a time, really, shouldn't I? Come here, Victor. Let's talk to you. Howdy, partner. <coughs> Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Well, I thank you, and thank you for digging me out of that grave. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. How did you I find it? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up at the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know those men who attacked me? say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Righty dokey. Happy trails. Yeah, go away. It's gonna keep hassling me, isn't it? <laughs> So, Sunny Smiles, or whatever her name is, is in here. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Oh, uh, what options we got? Let's go with Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Oh yeah. Hmm. How about I just come with you? Come on. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay, you're trusting me with a weapon, are you? Okie dokie. What was that? Oh, it's already equipped it for me. That's nice of it. And... That's the right idea. Look down the site. I just did that. Oh, I missed that one. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Crouch is left stick in this one, just to be different. Oh, it's all a bit sensitive now. <laughs> Can't. Nice hey, there we go. Well, that's a start. Can you at least let me stand up before you talk to me? Bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn geckos? To it. Why don't you come along? Yeah, go on. Just Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Oh. Oh. 
Get out of the way, dog. She runs with a real spring and a step, doesn't she? Just not very fast. What am I looking like at the moment, anyway? <laughs> I got some spring in my step myself. that up on the ridge behind me there we got some geckos to clear out a really? bunch of little monsters is what they are seems like doc mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else let's see if we can get a little closer if we move quietly we can get the jump on them more likely to hit something vital that way okay we're going down again then okay you're on go give them hell <clears throat> yeah, we don't need to read about that. Gecko. Let's hear the word gecko then. And he's dead. Is there another one? Nope. At least stand up before you talk to me this time. Where are you going? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Yeah, go Shouldn't on. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. He's a smiley looking fellow, isn't he? Is that it? We're going to the next one already. Okay. Save some for me. I don't, want, I don't want to shoot her or the dog. I'm not close enough. Oh, okay, they're not here. Where are they? Over there. Where's she gone? Alright, Sammy, what's going on here? Everything all right. Sunny, even. Until next time. Yeah. Well, we're just standing around. He's attacking something. But what? There he is.
There's only one of them. Hey there. Who are you? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thank you. You look just like the other woman. Right, so where's Sunny What's her face? Let's just take me back down there again. Back to Sunny. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Really? Here's a little spending money for the trouble. Thank you. One more thing I wanted to show you. Oh yeah? Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Oh, go on then. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Righty dokey. Bye then. See you next time. Right. Let's have a look at the map. So we are going back to Good Springs. That's fast travel because it's easier. Yeah, I'm lazy, I know. Okay, so we'll go to the schoolhouse first. We're going to have to go bang bang. One button. That was a lovely squirty sound. So where's the thing? Oh, it's in the tree, isn't it? Or not? Oh, there it is. We'll take three of them. Right, now we're off to the cemetery. Very dusty around here. Not a place I'd like to live. Interesting. Um. 
Okay, let's just have to shoot here. Blow flies. I do use vats a lot, and I don't apologise for that. I'm going to use it this time. And that's why I use it a lot. <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture. In the back. Right, there's some stuff to pick up, isn't there? Somewhere. Anything on the blowfly? Just meat. Brock flower, that's what we needed. Go back to sunny at the campfire. Come on, Sammy Spoons, whatever your name is. Where are you? You're only that far away. Here she is. Sunny smile, that's who you are. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Well, just that's fine. good. Excellent. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okie dokie. If you're not standing in the campfire. Healing powder. How many... Oh, I've got enough for one. Hey, that's not bad, see? Yeah. All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Okie dokie then. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Or just scratch the my ass. The important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. Yeah, I'm right, heading go back up. now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy? She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Oh, well, wouldn't that be a shame? Okay. Once again, fast travel to Good Springs. Squeaky. <laughs> okay, so bollocks. Wrong button. So meet and Trudy will finish off this mission quest, whatever you want to call it. Right, okay then. Let's go see Trudy. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Someone's in a mood. Bye. So dark. Right. Hello, Trudy. Hey. 
Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Um, let's go with the argument first. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Bingo He's now? The abandoned gas station up the hill. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? What are they? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was well, a big escape not fun. too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Uh, all right, why not just you kill Cobb? Him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Okay, let's talk about something else then. All right. Uh, I'm going to track down the not people much, that attacked me. Other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did they say where they're going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. <clears throat> Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. The fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Okay. Want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to and hear what's like going caps. on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Is that? Oh no, it's a jukebox I can hear. Right. What happens if I help if you're Ringo? you able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Okay. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Oh, that's all right. <sighs> um, I think I'm going to help Don't Ringo. know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. That'll do for now. Be careful out there. Don't think I can uh, repair your radio. Repair of 20 or greater. Yeah, I haven't got 20 repair. Actually. Still only level 1. Right, so what we got to do? I suppose it's gonna go, we're gonna go and see Ringo. Let's go. Once I find the way out of this pitch black place. Why is it so dark? Where is he? In this direction. Yoink.
Ooh, I'll take them. They'll be handy in the future. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? I'm just having a look around. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? I haven't got a clue. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. So I will I completely ignore the uh, game of caravan. One of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. Oh dear. Well, you're on your own there, aren't you, matey? What are you going to do? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Oh. Uh, maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Uh, I'll ask around. Sunny smiles. She's been friendly. No, oh, Sunny here. smiles again. Right, actually, I've got all that. Uh, I've got all that stuff, didn't I? So there's my Vault Twenty One Tribal Raiding Armor, lightweight metal armor, lightweight leather armor, or an armored Vault Thirteen. Oh, we've got to keep with the Vault with the uh, yeah jumpsuits. Vault. The vault suits. Let's see about weapons. Ten throwing spares. Go on then. Let's use those. Just for fun. Alright, let's go see Sunny Spoons, whatever her name is. Or walk into a tree. <laughs> and trip over a tree. Is this the saloon? Are you dusty? I take it she's going to be in here. Oh, okay. Can't go in that door. Have to be this one. She isn't here. How dare she move? Right, where is she then? Oh, there she is. Howdy. Hi. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Right. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I'll That'll be do for now. Let's go see Trudy first. And then we'll go and try the other people. You just said that. Hello. Oh, yeah, I can't fix your radio, can I? That might have helped. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? Yep. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Yep. I leveled up. All the more reason for oh, me yeah, to set this one out. No chance there, was it? 
Right, piss off then. Be careful out there. I think I just leveled up. Yay. Okay. Thirteen skill points. Well, I can repair her radio now. Do that. Um. I'll do. I think we'll take that. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Bung in perception. Or endurance. Agility. We could do with... Uh, the extra AP. Right, let's try and talk to her Feeling again. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for there some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. I will go and speak to him. Be careful out there. Once I fix your radio. Which I should be able to do now. Hey. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. No, I fixed your radio. There we go. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Nope. Be careful out there. Okie dokie. Let's go see Doc Mitchell about the stim packs. I want to get my bearings. <laughs> go to his dark house, which I believe was the one up here on the hill. He should be quite happy, he hasn't had to patch me up yet. If I haven't caught him up to something, let's put that on. That made, that made a load of difference, didn't it? That was really worth turning on. Where is he? There you are. Don't sit down when I'm trying to talk to you. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Um. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Good man. Uh, could try that. You ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there than it will in here. Take what I got. Thank you. You take care now. Yep. Where's your door? How do we get out of here? Here we go. General store, that's right next to the saloon. Let's go see, speak to whoever's in here. What's your name? Chet. 
You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got well, I'm here. Good job. I'm going with it. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. <laughs> Look, you're bringing this on yourself. Oh, the wimp. Take it easy now. You can go do one. Right. Pete's dynamite. Let's have a talk to Pete. He was hanging around out the front there, wasn't he? Hey. Hey. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Too dangerous. Want to kill all yourself. Oh. Too you can go away as well then. Bye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places. Yep. Right, return to Ringo then. He lives up there. And here we are. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do it. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. At least six, Joe Cobb included. Is that all? Pretty mean. I was expecting hundreds. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Come on then. Ooh, she went stealthy. Trudy's out. Let's uh, give this throw in. There we go. And wee! Did I miss? Oh! I hit him that time. Go for a close range headshot. That won't let me, I'm gonna have that hack power. Well that's off. I'll try that again. <laughs> the dog finished him off. Bob Carroll G's. Let's spit the dog. Oh, I'm just missing now, look. I don't think he's taking much in the way of damage though. That's the one button. No, no. <laughs> Come here, no. Let's go for a headshot on Bob. Ha 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 
Oh, that was funny. <laughs> right. Let's try to find the corpses and loot them. Because after all, that is the name of the game. We've got one or two. Oh, okay, right. There's Joe. Is that everybody looted? And the quest has auto. Uh, you anything interesting? It's auto completed. Right. Well, that was fun. Well, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.